That is right, Megan. As we all deal with the ongoing response to the outbreak, a lot of people have been trying to find ways to give some help and support to those on the front lines. The man is putting his 3D printer in service to make a small but critical part to help medical professionals get the most out of surgical masks. I got into 3D printing uh, because I'm a nerd and uh, I, I thought they were cool. Travis Whitaker's printing hobby is making a real difference. He tells me at the start of the outbreak, he offered to print anything UMMC medical professionals might need. A nurse took him up on that and asked if he could print ear protectors for face masks now that doctors and nurses have to wear them for extended periods of time. It's required that you put these things over your ears and after a while they start to bother the back of your ears and they're very uncomfortable and they're difficult to keep in place. He fired up his printer and got to work. This is the part. It goes on the loops of the face mask and connects in place on the back of your head instead of over your ears. It's not saving lives in any way, but uh, it definitely is letting um, the people who are saving lives know that, that we care and that we've got their backs. Ongoing tinkering and modifications have increased the output of parts. I was able to go from about two and a half hours to t uh, for 10 of them to uh, 10 of them per hour. So far with his printer running 10 to 12 hours a day, he and his wife have turned out more than 1,200 ear protectors. They are one of many volunteering their time and talents. We've got several people in the community and uh, I know there's several businesses and schools that are also printing um, all different types of PPE for the nurses and doctors. Travis says he's proud to see the nerd community come together to make a difference, even if it's a small one. He says it's something we all can do. If your neighbor is a, a nurse, bake her some cookies, you know, uh, whatever, whatever it is, just let them know that we care. Now, Travis tells me that he keeps a stash with him during his day job and hands out those ear protectors when he's working in medical facilities. He also says people have donated thermoplastic filament for him to continue to turn out even more ear protectors. Troy Johnson, 16, WAPT News at 10.